After turning on the power, the steering wheel starts self-test. Now it's the host's boot screen. This is the main page of the host. This is our cockpit host, used to connect steering wheel, display or other devices. This is the remote control that comes with the cockpit. When using the remote control, the top of the remote control needs to be pointed at the host to use. Switching between applications can be performed through the arrow keys on the remote control. Back to the right, left, the second row of the home page, which is apps. The cockpit application needs to be opened in apps. We first select apps through the arrow keys on the remote control. Click the down arrow button on the remote. Then click the right arrow key to select apps. Click the OK button in the middle of the arrow keys to enter apps. The yellow icon named Cloud RC is our cockpit application. Select Cloud RC by arrow keys. Click OK to open the application. This is the loading page of the cockpit app. The QR code on the page is the binding QR code of the cockpit host. Cleaning steps. First open the Cloud RC app in the mobile phone. After entering the app, click me in the lower right corner of the page. Find the cockpit and click to enter. Click the scan code button in the upper right corner of the cockpit page. Scan the QR code of the cockpit host. After the scan is successful, the mobile phone will display the newly bound cockpit host. The two buttons on the right are unbind and modify basic information. After the host claims it, the personal vehicle list will be displayed on the cockpit homepage. Select a vehicle with arrow keys. Click the OK button to enter the vehicle driving page. At the top of the driving page are Quit driving, driving duration, signal strength, vehicle name, battery voltage, current battery level of the vehicle, vehicle settings. Below the driving page are the steering wheel steering mapping, vehicle speedometer, vehicle gear display. The gear position of the vehicle is changed through the left and right shift pedals on the steering wheel, right side for upshift, left side for downshift. Enter the vehicle settings through the vehicle settings button at the top of the driving page. Open vehicle settings by default. Open the vehicle advanced settings tab. The functions are reverse direction of the vehicle, forward backward reverse. The following three items are the parameter settings of the steering wheel. The first is the direction offset fine tuning. The second is the fine tuning of the steering wheel back to center. The third is the maximum rotatable angle of the steering wheel. Switch to the steering wheel settings page in the left tab bar. On the left is the steering wheel map. The upper part on the right is the steering wheel channel list. The lower part on the right is the channel parameter setting. The buttons are clear parameters, save parameters. Now we understand the button channel customization function. The buttons marked on the left steering wheel can be customized. For example, if we press the key at this time, the corresponding button mapped on the left will be highlighted and none will be displayed. This means that the button is not yet bound to the channel. The channel selection in the upper half of the right will automatically select the first available channel CH sign. Use the remote control to click the OK button to confirm the selection of the channel. Then start setting the parameters of the channel. You can also use the default parameters directly without setting. Use the arrow keys to select save. Click the OK button to confirm. The key mapped on the left steering wheel will display CH sign. On behalf of CH sign has been bound to the bond. Then we click the return button on the remote control to return to the driving page to test the channel. After starting the test, you can control the vehicle for button test. Click stop testing to stop the test. If there is a problem with the set button channel, you can select return to setting to readjust the channel. Let's learn how to clear the button channel and parameters. Now we unbind the key bound CH sign. Click the button. Select clear through the remote control or the direction keys on the steering wheel. Click the OK button to confirm clearing. After successful clearing, the key in the left steering wheel map will display none. CH sign channel can be rebound to any other button after clearing. The steering wheel is set to CHE by default. The accelerator pedal is set to CHR by default. These two channels can also be adjusted according to the actual situation. Turn the steering wheel to set the bending channel of the steering wheel. Stepping on the accelerator pedal can set the bending channel of the accelerator. Rebind CH sign to the key. After the binding is completed, 
Enter the test driving page. Select the OK button in the test prompt window to complete the test and enter the official driving page. On the right is the binding button of CH Sunset. When the key is pressed, the right button will be highlighted to indicate that the channel is on. Press the key again and the right button will close the channel and close the highlight. Thanks for watching.